Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Jimmy Ling. I'm the Portfolio Management Director of several ventures. I'm your host today. The Advanced Learning Module Program received overwhelming interest from Web3 enthusiasts all over the world. And today, we are going to kick it off. Before we get started, let's give a warm welcome to our whole host. Here, we have Kelichi Ibe, Marketing Manager of Bmart. Kelichi, can you give us a little bit yourself about yourself and also Bmart? Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Jimmy. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Kelichi Ibe. And uh, uh, just a brief overview uh, about me. Uh, I am the Marketing Manager. Uh, I, I'm Marketing Manager at Bitmart. And I, I started at Bitmart over like 11 months ago, uh, so almost a year. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, um, like Bitmart is a, is a centralized uh, cryptocurrency exchange where you can actually buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. And um, I think one of the beauties about Bitmart is the fact that uh, we have a wide range of um, altcoins and cryptocurrency, and you know you can trade you can trade them with very very little uh, like fees uh, compared to maybe trading in a decentralized exchange where you have a lot of currencies but the trading fees can be really expensive. So Bitmart gives you that you know great experience to to invest in digital assets. Um, and we have a you know a wide variety of uh, I guess products you know spots trading margin trading uh, futures trading um, you know we have fiat you know, off and off on and off ramp um, and we also have you know like NFTs our NFT marketplace which I'm very very excited about um, so that's just a, a brief um, summary of of Bitmart you know uh, we're one of the fastest growing um, cryptocurrency exchange uh, in the industry. Right. Um, so, uh, a brief overview about myself. Uh, I was. I'll. 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 I'll make this in two different uh, formats. First, my my cryptocurrency um, experience and also my professional um, experience. Uh, when it comes to my cryptocurrency um, experience, I actually started, you know, in this industry uh, in 2016, 2017, um, where, uh, like most of you, I've. I've, I've always had this, you know, um, zeal and this entrepreneurship mindset. Um, and my mentor uh, had, you know, showed, uh, he showed me uh, a keynote uh, about uh, Ethereum. So he sent me a, a keynote speech um, by Vitalik Buterin, who is the, the founder of Ethereum, the Ethereum blockchain. And I remember watching the video and I, I, I understood right then and there the power of the, the blockchain industry. Um, and I, I invested in some ICOs back then, uh, initial coin offerings, which essentially is you um, investing in very, very early stage, like startup com um, blockchain companies. And uh, quite frankly, that did not go too well, like because I think 99.9% .9 of them actually failed. Um, and that's one thing that you're going to learn as you um, venture into this, uh, this industry uh, is, you know, you have to, you know, do your own research. Uh, it's called DYOR. So um, there's a lot of promising opportunities, but you have to be very, very um, diligent in doing your own research. Um, so I invested in some ICOs. I remember buying Bitcoin when it was around $2,800, uh, so $2,800. Uh, and also Ethereum around, you know, $20, $20 $18, $20 uh, per ETH. And um, those, like I said, those projects did not do so well, but that was my first entrance into the cryptocurrency industry. And I remember just ignoring it because back then I was focused on something else. I was focused on e-commerce and other things. But I remember the, the bull market of 2017 where Bitcoin like went almost to $20,000 and Ethereum went to like 1,400. And I, I remember feeling that I missed out, right? But in 2020, the market actually, you know, crashed due to COVID. Um, and my mentor told me that if you want to get into the blockchain industry, this is the perfect time to do that. And I remember like taking, taking that opportunity to start learning about the industry more, you know, learning about decentralized finance, learning about 
layer one and layer two blockchains, you know, learning about NFTs. Um, and you know, ever since then, I've just been in this, you know, journey of, you know, being an investor and also being a participant in the industry. So that is kind of my introduction into the blockchain space um, through my mentor. Um, but my professional uh, journey is very, very similar to what, you know, a lot of you are here to do to learn about the industry. So I have over like close to 10 years experience in the traditional marketing um, industry, um, but I always, I've always wanted to transfer that skill set into the blockchain industry. Um, I've, I've know, I know how to acquire customers with e-commerce brands, you know, business to business, SaaS and all those things. Um, but I wanted to learn how to do that in the, in the blockchain space. Right. So when I got the opportunity to work at Bitmart, um, I took that, I jumped in with both feet, you know, because now I can learn about cryptocurrency regulations, you know, how to acquire customers in the, in the, in the Web3 and blockchain industry. So um, that, was, that, was, uh, that was a really good opportunity for me. And like I said, I've been here um, almost a year um, and it has been an amazing, amazing ride. So I will highly encourage you guys, if you're listening to this, to take this very seriously. Uh, because uh, obviously you, you're taking it seriously and that's why that's why you're here um, in, in this uh, webinar but I will highly encourage you to to take it seriously learn from um, you know the Cyfolio team and the block live team and everybody here um, you know learn about venture capital learn about market making learn about the marketing side of things investing funding um, there's a lot for you to learn here. So I uh, highly encourage you to do that. So um, that's kind of my story in a nutshell. Um, I'll, I'll hand the, the mic over to Jimmy uh, to continue the presentation. So thank you everybody for listening to me. Thank you, Karachi. I like your story a lot, very inspiring. Next, please Thanks. welcome Carol Gong from Bot Like. Welcome Carol and the floor is yours. Okay, hey guys. This is Carol from Blocklight. I'm very happy to be here today. And first of all, I'd like to thank Cyfolio for pro providing such a great opportunity to get in touch with you guys. And we feel very honored to be the co-host of the Advanced Web3 Learning Model. Yeah, so Blocklight is a content service media based on blockchain technology and underlying ecology owned by Cabin VC, which is committed to providing media coverage, brand public relations, project incubation, and resource docking services for industry organizations and blockchain enthusiasts. For nearly six years, Blocklight has been focusing on hot topics and tracks in the industry, running a wealth of events, both online and offline which feature in-depth discussions and exchanges with active institutions and projects at the front line of the industry. And we have built strong relations, relationships with dozens of top tier industry organizations and nearly 600 blockchain companies, or you can say crypto projects, and provided them with multi-dimensional and customer, customized services. In 2023, in addition to this, a great course content we co-host with our great partner, Cyfolio. We will also run various offline events and summit in Hangzhou, Shanghai, Chengdu, and Hong Kong. If you are interested in this event, please feel free to contact us. And by the way, I will post our contact information in the group later, and you can check it out. Thank you, guys. Hope you enjoy this lesson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's all about Black light. I want to talk. I want to say, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Next, please allow me to introduce the managing partner of Cyfolio Ventures, Eric Bai. Eric, please tell us more about Cyfolio. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Jimmy, and everyone here. So, uh, so uh, I'm a managing partner of Cyfolio, and uh, Cyfolio is also a corporate venture and uh, of Bimar and doing the strategic investment and the incubation in the market. And I personally came from the legal background and I practiced law for over five years, both in New York and in, in Asia. And uh, I, I joined the crypto space in 2018. So therefore uh, I really get to the uh, entrepreneurship, startups and the innovation and technology. So if, 
hear uh, anyone uh, who joined this program have any questions in terms of in terms of your career switch or how to uh, get you into a new market. And uh, if you are interested, feel free to let me know. So I will leave my contact info uh, in the chat box and uh, I'm more than happy to chat with you uh, personally and knowing more about uh, your initiative. And next slide, please. So uh, here I give a quick uh, intro about what Cyphoto is doing in the market. So basically four pieces and pillars that we are doing. One is investment, incubation, insights, and education. So we do invest in the, mar uh, in the market as a venture firm. And also because the market is still young, so therefore we do the incubation a lot. And uh, we also launch our accelerator program in the market as well. And uh, as you can see that uh, we frequently uh, publish our newsletters and also research report uh, to share our insights with our uh, friends in the market and also to educate the newcomers. And last but not least, as you can see in the, uh, as you are now that it is our education module, because what we see is a new market that we need a lot of uh, uh, new innovative uh, friends to join into the new industry and to be prepared to uh, embrace more challenges. Uh, so that's, that's why we in, uh, launched our, uh, this initiative uh, uh, right now. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, in the left column that you can see our investment CCS in different uh, category of the, uh, of the projects. And uh, so we are pretty early uh, uh, investors. So basically uh, C-Round and uh, pre-C-Round and the C-Round investor usually. And also that uh, our uh, we are pretty selective. As you can see, uh, we, uh, we see over uh, 2000 deals in the market per year, but however, we are pretty selective in the investment in the market. Uh, next slide, please. So our insights and our research report generate a lot of like uh, impression in the market. So there are over 1.5 million impression and read and, uh, and, and also feedbacks we receive in the market. And also that uh, we engage with our community a lot, uh, both through the online event and uh, we host on a monthly basis, but also that uh, we publish our research report on quarterly basis uh, and most importantly, and we uh, we try to uh, arrange in-person meetings uh, and the meetups and the conference on quarterly basis and globally. So, for example, that we have house events in New York, Austin, and Paris as well. So, I think we will have a plan to do some events in Austin this April and in Hong Kong as well. So, therefore, if you are around and we are happy. Our team members uh, are happy to meet you in person and to chat further. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, we, we do have a very great uh, accelerator programs that uh, attract a lot of uh, attention in the market. Uh, I think just uh, a week uh, uh, later that we will co-host event with uh, Cointagraph Accelerator, which is one of the largest media outlet in the market. And uh, so, and, and also that we have over 270 VC uh, friends in our network and to, uh, to share the deal flow and also to help our portfolios to further grow and influence in the market. So uh, yeah, here we are. So uh, some data uh, in terms of uh, the current advanced learning module. And this is a quite diverse program in the market. As you can see, we have students from uh, participants from uh, US, uh, Canada, EU, and others as well. And however, that we know there are a lot of from Asia, but uh, we are very we commit to diversity in the program, and uh, it's quite selective program as well. There are only about twenty eight uh, approval rate. So therefore, meaning uh, the uh, the students here, seventy seven students here, and uh, there are over. Uh, there are over 300 and 400 students I see they, uh, they registered, but however, unfortunately, because uh, we would like to create uh, a highly selective program. So therefore, uh, we, uh, there are only 28% of the students um, so get enrolled. So therefore, congratulations uh, 
uh, to yourself. And uh, it's a, I think you pass through all the way and to come here. So uh, we will have a very fun journey and to work with uh, your teammates, with your mentors. And here you can also find a lot of friends here and uh, from all around the world with great achievement and uh, before. And also I think we will have a very, uh, very great uh, bright future after uh, completion of the program. Uh, when, whenever that you would like to be a uh, do an entrepreneur or you would like to join as a professional or you would like to having uh, as a service provider, all are very welcome. And I think through this program, you will achieve further and uh, through the joint efforts. Thank you so much. Thank you, Eric. Next, I'm going to give you a quick introduction about the program itself. Next slide, please. So uh, the program consists of three stages. So the first one is called Finding and Learning. You will meet new people, make new friends, and exchange ideas for learning Web3. In the next stage, we'll be seeking and learning. So Web3 is lucrative, and we're not going to hide it. We want to provide you with tools, frameworks, and methodology to better prepare you to seek alpha in the crypto world. And in the stage three, if you successfully pass the first two stages, you can practice your newly earned skills and in the secondary markets and also have the opportunity to work with professionals in the industry. So uh, as you know, you have uh, an internship and a grant opportunities, and I will talk about how to earn them. So first, you have research work or tasks on a regular basis. We're going to evaluate the quality of your work. So this going, is going to account for 50% of your performance. And second, we have start review, which stands for 20%. Um, peer review, participation, and bonus. So uh, these three, they account for 10% each. Next slide, please. So uh, here we're going to talk about the grant competition. So top 10 students who successfully finished the program will receive uh, $2,000 to like $10,000 USD as a reward. And uh, we're gonna have $5,000 for the first prize and $2,000, we have two of them for the second prize and uh, $1,000 less than the third price. And in order to graduate, you need to make sure you receive at least 50 points from the criteria we mentioned about. Um, so after graduate, you're gonna have an NFT certificate, and also you have the official title of several fellows, and you will be eligible to enter the grant competition. We're also going to have uh, a few special prizes. So for those of you who think bigger and further, we, will, we are going to grant you with uh, this Cypher Angel Fund. So this will be uh, for if you are thinking about to build a project and also seeking uh, angel investment. So let us know. Please reach out to us. And uh, we will decide your eligibility based on your rating from the previous uh, program. And uh, party animal grants. Yeah, this is the one. So this is my favorite. So if you want to meet with more Web3 friends of life, you can start a party in your city. So yeah, talk with us and show you friend and we can help. We would like to invite more like friends from Web3 to join the industry. Next slide, please. So let's go into, uh, let me tell you a few things about housekeeping. So uh, these are the general rules for future meetings. So yeah, please uh, keep in mind. Make sure to mute yourself in the Zoom meeting. So today is a webinar, so you probably wouldn't have a chance to like talk out to talk to talk out loud. But if you uh, have a group discussion, make sure you mute yourself if you are no uh, talking. So be on time, and also be respectful to your mentors, peers, and staff. Uh, we are also uh, never going to ask you for any personal information, private keys, screenshots. So yeah, just be alert. So there are a lot of like scammers and also. Yeah, things that we consider like risky in the industry. So make sure to you know, like share any sensitive information like to people you don't trust. Uh, so here, opinions of mentors, staffs are their own opinions. So that led us no we don't consider as financial or any like legal advices. So yeah, do your own research. Next slide, please. So what will be the next steps? So let's make sure you join a ALM fellow group in the TGIP if you are if you haven't. So this will be the most important announcement channel for this program. So we will share 
all the necessary information in that TG group. So make sure you join it if you are selected. Uh, and also join the study groups. So we expect this program to be very interactive and we highly recommend to discuss and exchange ideas with your fellows. So yeah, so each of you should have already been selected to one of the group. So meet your team members and make new friends. And our next event will be February 16th and uh, we are going to share uh, the details later. So uh, let's should be it. Uh, we consider this program as an evolving project and thank you all for being a part of this journey. So if you see any missing items or you don't like the rules, we are open to any proposals, let us know. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you grow with us. Uh, and then our next session will be uh, will be Town. So Town is a level one blockchain designed by Terraform, which I consider uh, to be a very crucial infrastructure in the crypto world. So uh, let me see if uh, our folks, our friends from Town, is able to join us. Uh, okay, great, great, uh, great answer. So yes, there is a study group already. And uh, mainly currently we have a uh, group leader that be pre-selected who will invite you to join the study group. And also that uh, what if Yvonne will share the list of the like the, the group list of each individuals and to and uh, uh, in addition to that, if you have any question and please uh, let wife know. Uh, so Eric, yeah. there is another problem uh, question. So about the Cyfolio Angel Fund, does that for yeah, some? Yeah, I new see members? that question. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so uh, I yes, the answer is yes. It is for the new uh startups uh who doesn't receive any fundings, and but however, it only exclusively for the um for the fellows uh in this program uh who successfully uh graduate from this program. So someone's asking how to join study group. So yeah, you are uh, receiving uh, an announcement you know, message from us. So you are also going to be invited to the start group uh, from your captains. So yeah, just stay tuned. Okay, so I'll run through the, uh, from the original primer. So like I mentioned before, Telegram Open Network um, or transitioned over the TON, um, the Open Network through a community fork. Uh, we've come a long way since then. Um, basically, from a technology perspective, um, you know, we're, we're what you'd call a fifth generation blockchain. Um, and, I'll, and I'll get into that a little bit. But um, you can see a comparison between us and um, Ethereum 2 and Solana. Um, our block times, you know, are, I mean, overall time to finality is under. Solana, because uh, you know we do five seconds on the you know the work chains, the shard chains, and then one second later onto the master, so six seconds all up. Um, you know, very very high performance, um, and as far as sharding goes, um, you know, it's two to the power sixty shards per work chain. Um, so it's it's you know, very very scalable. Um, and I guess why we call it, you know, uh, fifth generation is that not only that it's multi-chain and it's um, dynamically sharding, but also um, it's, it's tightly coupled. Um, so, I mean, in, in many ways, it's similar to Polkadot, but, you know, in tightly coupled, meaning the interactions between the shards and the different work chains um, happen um, much more efficiently. Um, as far as our virtual machine goes, um, we have our Ton virtual machine. Um, the smart contracts, they're written in a, in a number of different languages. So originally it was de designed with FIFT. Um, FIFT is quite low level. So we, um, you know, built Fun C on top of that, um, which compiles into FIFT and then FIFT into TBM bytecode. But we're even finding Fun C is, you know, a little bit low level as well. And we're building a new language called TACT. Um, and that's, you know, nearly at stable release. Um, 
but you know that's more that's more familiar to JavaScript developers, Solidity developers. Um, but it's still work in progress, and we're seeing a lot of um, a lot of progress with with Fun C. Um, along with that, we've got our like what we call the Ton stack. So we have Ton proxy, which is very much like um, Tor Tor network. We have Ton storage, very much like torrents. Uh, ton sites, ton DNS, again, a bit like ENS. And um, we have ton services like payments. So we kind of have this full stack, as well as the network, obviously. So we kind of have this full stack that, um, that, that can be used. Um, but I guess um, moving on to Telegram, but the most compelling thing is. Basically, we have this close relationship with Telegram Messenger. Um, and Telegram has active users. Well, this is this data here is a little bit older, but monthly active users are 850 million plus. Um, and, you know, we're getting a natively integrated there, a wallet and DAP connectivity, and there's going to be a DAP store. This is all um updates the telegram that we'll be seeing in the um in 2023 so um basically you know all the all this tech stack can be delivered within telegram in something you know we call the telegram web app which i'll i'll, I'll go into later but um the bottom line is it it it's really about the distribution here more than anything else. I mean, the technology is great, right? But as we know, technology will improve, right? You know, when I first started in, in Web3, it was Bitcoin and then we had Counterparty and Colored Coins and Ethereum and it goes on and on, generation after generation. And of course, there'll be another generation. It's a matter of time. But again, the compelling thing is Telegram Messenger. Um, Toncoin Communities, they're, you know, they're growing. Um, you can see some charts there. We have international communities everywhere. They're very active. Um, we, have a, we have a strong in-house marketing and community management team. Um, and, and we're looking to expand that as well. Uh, obviously, we, we, we have to scale as the community is getting larger. Um, our roadmap, let me quickly run you through this. So, um, 2023 quarter one so token we're launching a token bridge soon and basically um that'll allow any tokens to be transferred to and fro uh, over the and it's an official bridge um to bsc and ethereum um so you know that will allow you know you know any token to come in and that's a very secure bridge that's like a um, it's an Oracle multi-signature bridge, you know, um, and that's been audited by Certic. It was developed by our squad. Um, also, we are getting lockup and vesting tools. So for projects, uh, they'll have audited contracts that will allow them to, you know, lock their LP for a certain amount of time on a DEX, vest their, um, have vesting schedules uh, for investors. Um, and then as far as things like token economics optimization, we have a lot of inactive wallets in, um, in our network, that, that what we call uninitialized wallets, which is basically from the early miners. And there's a bit of uncertainty around our tokenomics. So uh, we're gonna be optimizing the tokenomics, which essentially means that uh, there's gonna be potentially some lockups investing on some of the uninitialized wallets. I can go into that later. Um, Ton Connect 2, similar to Wallet Connect, that's ready. Um, and that's what we're sort of uh, DAP developers are pushing to, to integrate that. Uh, also, there's discussions with Trust Wallet. Um, I'm leading the Trust Wallet integration at the moment, and um, we're getting our NFTs, native. Um, chain so native tokens native um jetons uh which are our token standard 
Con Connect, all these things integrated in, in Trust Wallet. Uh, that should be done end of this month or middle of next month. Quarter two, we've got our libraries. We've got a lot of libraries in development. Um, we, we get our tooling done by a number of different parties that we sponsor um, from the foundation. Um, also liquidity staking is, is on its way, liquid, liquid staking for, um, for our validators. Um, I mean, the, the, there are a lot of updates I won't go into here, you know, like the TVM update, um, the elector update. Um, so yeah, you can see in quarter three, more bridges are basically there to be built, more um, upgrades to the network. So yeah, and then we've got proxy, which is their payments and storage, which have already been released. Um, as far as growing the ecosystem, uh, we're doing a number of initiatives, but but like the major one at the moment is uh, our Dora Hacks campaign, and and that's that's a global campaign going for going for three months actually, and um, we have you know three hundred thousand in and prize money, then fast track grants and funding and subsidies around audits. Um, and, and, and then also uh, the winning teams to come to Dubai to, to kind of headquarters and, and, and introduce them to investors and provide mentoring. Um, we're doing a few things here though, that you know, if you, you're eligible for a prize if you open your source code. And that doesn't necessarily mean under GPL, so, you know, the intellectual property is not protected. We're also saying you can do it under BSL, Business Source License 1.1. 1 .1. Um, and then, because there's no real way to assess um, a project uh, if you can't set source code. But then on top of that, you know, where we're spending on this and, you know, we, for education as well, like these projects being open sourced, it allows other developers to come in because Fund C is challenging for some because they're used to, you know, the EVM world used to synchronous um, technologies, whereas we, we're async, uh, which does make it uh, a little bit more difficult to learn in some ways. Uh, so the more open source code out there, the better. Um, so some of the some of the uh, ideas that are being thrown around is uh, like ETH sign. Um, ETH sign is basically on chain, on chain signing, uh, but basically going to be delivered within Telegram. So you can sign contracts on chain, and um, it's kind of like a, like a hello sign, but 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 on chain, right? Um, Sorry about that. Um, then decentralized IDs. So we've got something called Telegram Passport, which is really interesting that you should look into. Um, and we're going to couple, you know, Telegram Passport with, you know, the um, with the blockchain, and then some kind of external verification like Jumio. And what we're able to do is have, you know, a really good DID system. Um, where an address will be, you know, KYC, um, and then also attached to your Telegram username. So, and then Telegram obviously has, you know, this huge um, user base. So it's it's a very compelling area in DID. Um, DeFi wise, you know, there's there's new ideas again being thrown around like collateralizing usernames and phone numbers um, from, from Fragment. For, for example, there was a phone number, anonymous phone number that was auctioned. I think it was like plus 888-888888. You know, it was a whole bunch of eights. It's a lucky number. And it was auctioned for about $750,000. So, and that'll always hold its value. It's just like a number plate that has three... Uh, a three character number plate in, in Dubai, it's, it's worth a million dollars or something, right? And it'll, it won't lose its value. Um, so that's, you know, and it's decentralized, right? You own the NFT, you own the username. So 
if you want to get a loan against it, you stake that and, you know, you get, you get your collateral. Um, Mobile-friendly games delivered as Telegram web apps. So not just games, but any application. Telegram under the hood has WebKit, um, Web Engine. So you can actually, within Telegram, run um, JavaScript libraries, whether that be in AI or gaming, like Babylon JS, WebAssembly. Um, uh, you can have web delivered content inside of Telegram, um, almost like native apps. Uh, and that's kind of like a trend just generally in web, which is, you know, progressive web apps, mobile first delivered, um, except instead of showing them in a traditional browser like um, Chrome, uh, we'll show them in, uh, open them in um, Telegram. And, and, and eventually they would go into some kind of dApp store. So this is this is the direction um, that that we're heading. Oh, Tom Search. So this is interesting, right? This is a prototype that actually, actually I did, and um, and it's in a, and it's a Telegram, it's a Telegram web app. You can see. So basically, inside of Telegram, you would open this browser. And you can you can access dot ton DNS, you know dot ton sites that that full stack that I described earlier with proxy and DNS and sites storage. You can access it through this browser within Telegram, and also have a wallet inbuilt. So it it just kind of gives you an idea that you can actually have a Chrome inside Telegram. You don't need a browser. Um, Ah, wallet. So this is like one of our, uh, I guess, um, flagship uh, projects uh, in our ecosystem. Um, wallet, it's called at wallet. So if you send a message to at wallet or search the username wallet, it'll, it'll open up a Telegram web app, which is a bot that allows you to have a custodial wallet within Telegram. And it's got... Um, Kind of native functionality so that you can click the paperclip there, attachments menu, and you'll see your wallet being added on there. So it's our wallet. You can see, I'm, I mean, I'm sure some of you have probably used it, but there's a bit of a bit of a video of it. Ton swap. So, example of another DAP that's delivered within Telegram as a web app. It's a DEX, um, and uh, basically you can just access it within within uh, Telegram. It's a bit of a video there for you. So it's kind of like all at your fingertips, right? Web three at your fingertips, and all you need is Telegram. Um, for messaging, for web browsing, for crypto payments. Uh, it's great. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Robbie. Sure, sure. So is there any questions anyone has that I can answer? Yeah, now it's the Q&A time. So if you have any questions about channel, feel free to type in the chat box. Okay, so the regarding the consensus model, obviously it's proof of stake, but I I can get you. What's better is these kind of questions. I can get some better information out to you, more detailed information, which is probably much more useful. Um, if you could just type in your Telegram handle, and I'll get someone from our DevRel team and onboarding to actually just provide you some some good information. Yeah. Also, if you have any uh, written materials, yeah, feel free to share with us. And oh, of course, of course. Like our... I said, the, the best thing to do is um, the best thing to do is just drop your Telegram handle there, and and we will we will help you onboard. We've got a team to do that. That's the that's the most efficient thing. As far as you team for the hackathon, yes, I believe so. Uh, you can submit anytime. Um, 
is wallet. So wallet 2.0, um, that, that has been deployed, I believe. That is wallet, wallet 2.0 is what's on there. Um, but there's, there's more versions coming, of course. Um, how is Ton planning to compete L2 systems? Well, look, the, the, the thing is, again, like if we look at a competition point of view, um, I think it's going to be put back onto them, like how they're going to compete with us. Um, the, the issue in Web3 has always been um, users and and the, the 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 revenue model for projects unfortunately has always been just selling tokens in in a bull market tokens and coins where it, and and that's because they don't have users they they that's how they generate revenue um whereas for us we have this huge user base to tap into i mean it's nearly a billion users um and there's no Layer one, layer two. There's there's nothing in Web three that has that kind of reach into a user base. So it, it, yeah, it's it's kind of the other way around, really, to be honest. So Robin, we got another problem. So how is Tom planning to complete with compete with L two ecosystems that are coming? Examples: Starknet, Sui, etc. Okay, so basically. The thing is, right, if we're talking about competing from a, from a scalability point of view, we have very good technology for that. We have sharding, dynamic sharding. Um, then as far as flexibility goes, we can have multiple chains running different. I mean, we can actually even have a, a, a if we wanted to, to, to implement a work chain with a different VM, we could even have a move work chain. So we can run EVM chains, move chains, they're tightly coupled. Um, from a technology perspective, um, I, I, I don't think we, we need to compete with them. We, we're kind of sorted on the technology perspective. But like I was saying before, it, it's more about user acquisition than anything else. And um, I don't think anyone can compete with us in, in, in that way, at least not for the moment. I mean, the only one really could have is someone like, um, you know, Facebook, but uh, their, uh, their blockchain um, projects have long been disbanded, right? It's a proof of stake consensus model, but more than that, I can, I can provide like much more information about this. If you can just drop your Telegram handle and I'll provide some much more detailed information on our consensus model that, that is worth reading, especially our technical documentation I mean, I could, I could speak for hours about uh, the technology side of things and it's, it's probably better just to have a read. And if you want to onboard, um, we've, got, we've got an onboarding team that can help you with, with any of these questions. Wow, thank you, Robin. Like many friends uh, asked me that, how to join like Tom Hackathon. So would you also like to share some information about it? You can sure. share it to us. You can show it to us. So and if, you go to, if you go to Tor, if you go to Dora Hacks, the website, uh, mm -hmm. there's a there's a section called Hackathons, and click there, and we'll be the the, the key hackathon there at the moment. You'll see it on the top. Um, Ton, just click there, submit your build, um, and then it'll also in there have all the information uh, necessary, like joining relevant telegram groups and support and the the different tracks all the information is there on the dora hacks platform um so do you think tom would support or develop its nft related project like a, a inside build inside built nft market in telegram definitely definitely this is this is all in the work in fact there's probably something already to be honest there's probably something already, like you saw, there was a, there was a DEX that's um, integrated in the house. There's just so many dApps, but I, I would imagine there already would be a Telegram web app, which is an NFT marketplace. If there isn't, there'd be one in the works, right? Um, and as far as NFT to go, like even Telegram have like adopted NFTs where their usernames and 
is it the usernames and anonymous phone numbers are in NFT format now that can be traded. That, I mean, that's why they're our biggest app developer off the back of the Fragment project. Yeah, I think Should I just go through these questions? I, I can just keep answering them. <laughs> yeah, people are interested in uh, the grants. So oh, I, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Well, that's, uh, that's part of my territory, right? Um, yeah. uh, is there any sponsorship of uh, Web3 Start? Of course, yeah. So we have a grant program. Um, so if you go to questbook.app, and I can type that in there. I can put it to everyone. Go to questbook.app, um, scroll down, you'll see Tom Foundation grants, quarter one, apply for a grant. Um, we generally, we generally um, give grants, can give grants up to $50,000 in 10 milestones of $5,000 each. Um, we expect the projects to open the source code um, at very least, if not under GPL, under BSL 1.1, if they want to protect their intellectual property. Um, but it's it's a good grant program. We've we've just actually migrated to Questful, so it's it's much more streamlined there, and it's it's open to community feedback. Um, I think it's a really good platform. So feel free to go to Questful. Uh, you can apply for a grant, and uh, as far as any comms go around the grants. Our grant committee are onboarded on Questbook and will provide feedback. You've got any questions, put them there. Uh, we've actually got a permanent um, analyst on that platform that's, that's continuously monitoring. And um, so, yeah, grants there. I want to get some information on TON. Well, the, the best place to start is TON.org, really. I, I, would, I, would, I would advise anyone who wants to know more about TON, Go to ton.org, click on the menu and start there. There's section after section, there's documents, there's, there's all the information you'll need in there. And then from there, uh, if you want to know more technical information, go into GitHub, go into our repos, start reading the docs in there, start reading the code. Um, we have a lot of information out there. And like I said, it's as simple as going to these platforms, whether it's, and, and there's also something called Ton and Co, which is an education platform. Um, I think it's, the URL would be ton, join.toncompany.org. So that's an education platform as well. Um, really good. Um, and again, the last question is about grants. So yes, we, we, we are giving grants. And, and the other thing that we can give grants for as well is like sponsorships, like events. If, 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 if there was a group that wanted to run a hackathon, for example, where you are, if you wanted to run a hackathon, you can put in a grant application. We're about to put those grants, um, that page up there and people can just, you know, groups can run local hackathons as well. So there's, there's lots of areas, media grants as well sponsorships so um so yeah are there any more questions i think yeah that's pretty much um yeah if uh for those who are still interested so yeah feel free to uh to dm those questions to us and then we're more than happy to share with robin and uh, yeah i can believe uh, this conversation is ongoing and uh, we look forward to seeing uh more future development from town and thank you robin for joining us today yeah, sure. No worries. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So yeah, uh, this will be our very first session and uh, congratulations, everyone. So for just being able to finish your first session and uh, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow.